Hey there guys and welcome back to this last video. We're going to go ahead and we're going to go to miscellaneous number 400 and it says something seems to be broken. Can you fix it? We're going to copy this link as we have in many many other things. Many many other challenges. Paste and go. And uh, nothing appears to be there. Just this. So if you right click on this, it says view image, blah blah blah. And it says the image cannot be displayed because it contains errors. So you can go to view image info. You could theoretically use the save as command, but I'm going to go ahead and show you how to use the wget command because the more commands that you're comfortable using in Linux, the more likely you are to start using it on a daily basis, right? Seems logical to me. So we're gonna go ahead and copy this little link right there. The whole link or it's not gonna work. Copy. Shrink this little baby down. We're gonna open up a terminal. All right, so now that we've opened up our terminal, we're gonna go ahead and navigate to where we wanna put the file. I like my file on the desktop again because it's easy for me to see and clean up afterwards. So let's go ahead and navigate to the desktop. And we're gonna do wget space, control shift insert. Now see, I just taught you two commands, if you didn't know them. wget and control shift insert is just the same thing as doing paste, but it's the Linux way. So we're going to hit enter, and see right there how it pops up? Pit flag .png. We're going to use another command here, and this command is called the file command. And it looks at the header and just tells you what the picture is. So let's go ahead. We already know the picture is not going to display because it was a broken image up on the um, up in the browser. So file again. If you need help with file, you just do dash dash help. But in this case, we're just going to go ahead and do a simple file. Get out of there. File pip flag dot png. Enter. Hmm. Now that's interesting. It doesn't say it's a picture. It says it's a data. It says it's data. Quick, call the Starship Enterprise. Okay, I know that wasn't funny at all. Data, whatever. So, how can we figure this out? Obviously, the header file is wrong, or it would have displayed something different. Now we can go ahead and use a hex editor for this. How do we find out what hex editor to use? Well, you can run an apt. Let's see if I can spell this correctly. apt dash c a c h e. Oh, we spell cache wrong. Search hex edit. It'll take a minute. And wow. Look at that. There are so many. It is incredible. You can go ahead and choose any one of these if you want. I went ahead and I decided to use ghex, gnome hex editor for files. Why? I just, I don't know. I gravitated towards it. So that's the one I decided to use. You can use any one of these, but we're going to use ghex, so you might want to try ghex and find something else later on. So of course you're gonna go ahead and do uh, get install. Uh, I'm pretty sure I already had this installed but you never know. Okay. Maybe not. Yes I did. So once you have it installed hex get that thing out of there so you can see pip 
flag.png. Ignore that. A lot of times it'll give you a warning. And that needs to get out of there. There we go. All right. So here's GHEX. This brings this up. And the header is this first section right here. And as you can see, it says .ang. Now this is actually supposed to say PNG. Be warned, not every single header is going to say, like if it's a JPEG, it might not say JPEG or JPEG or whatever. It might say something else. That's something that you would need to Google or something like that. However, in this case, I know that this A is supposed to be a P. Well, how do we change this? Well, you may have noticed when I clicked on the A, it brought this little thing from over here to over here. And again, as you can see me fooling around with this, this will hop to over here. So we're going to go ahead and go to Windows, go to Character Table. We're just going to scroll around with this, keep on scrolling down. And we're going to look for a P. Note that there are capital letters and there are lowercase letters. We want the capital letters or it's not going to work properly. Now here's an N. There's an N right here you can see and that N again would correlate to this. You can see the N is 4E. So here's the 4E. If you look for the G, it should be a 47. Let's see here. 47. That's the hex code. So we're going to go ahead and look for the P. And here it says P is 50. Well, the P over here is 41. Oh dear. How do we change that? You try to enter it in here. Hmm, it doesn't seem to work. But you can edit it up here. Look, five. Note how it changed. See how it changed as I changed it? Zero. And now it says PNG. Pretty sweet, huh? We're going to go ahead and save that baby. If you don't save it, it doesn't work. Okay, so let's go ahead. We saved it. Let's go ahead and exit it. Let's go ahead and do a file again. Now it's displaying the proper header, PNG image data. Now you can see that it actually knows what it is. Now we can go ahead and open it. And it says you have fixed the image. You will not be able to copy that flag, so write it down somewhere, pull up like a note something, or something, pull up another terminal. Hehe. <laughs> I know my terminal. Hey, look at that. I could even cover it, but 28SDFW93DA. That way I can just copy it. And look, it's a little pip character for those of you who played a couple games in your lives. So we're gonna go ahead, go to here. Scroll over. Click on here, paste the answer, answer it, and there you go. You can see that it is solved. Thank you so much for going through me with these walkthrough challenges. I hope that you enjoyed them. I hope that you learned something, and I hope that you continue to use Linux, continue to participate in, participate in different CTFs, and I look forward to seeing you next time. Thanks and have a great day.